Hi everyone, Danielle from Glembo here with our Glembo from Home installment for the week. This week we're going to be focusing on our little guys. We're thinking kindergarten to grade one, two, but this activity is really fun for anyone, especially adults. So um, we're going to be focusing on one of our feature exhibits and it's by artist Ron Moppet and it's called Do You Remember Snow and Stars? This gallery space um, consists of what we call a long painting and there's a bit of a sculptural installation in there as well. So that means that the piece takes up the whole gallery space and creates a story. So we're going to look around at the gallery, but then we're going to focus on one segment of that piece and we're going to look for things like colors, shapes and lines, the different kinds of colors, different kinds of shapes and different kinds of lines that make up the basic elements of art. So for little guys, this will be really good to start to get them to differentiate between different kinds of blues and yellows and reds and then look for different kinds of shapes and lines. Um, we're gonna do a bit of a tour of the gallery. We'll walk you through an activity and then we're actually going to do an art activity. So stick with us and we'll have some fun today. Hi everyone, here we are on our second floor of the museum in one of our feature exhibits. Artist Ron Moppet put this exhibit together. The title is, Do You Remember Snow and Stars? Ron Moppet lives and works in Calgary, but was born in England and studied here in Calgary as well as in Mexico. His work is exhibited and collected throughout the world, including here at Glumbo in our own art collection. This piece is what we call a long painting. This kind of painting wraps around the whole gallery space and comes together as a story. I wonder what story he's trying to tell us. Right away, you'll notice a few things about Ron Moppet's work that are very clear. One is his love for bright, bold colors. This will be one of the things that we focus on today. He also uses pictures and objects to help tell these stories within his paintings. These are also going to be clues for us about what the story is that he's trying to tell. Today, we'll look at the whole piece, but mainly we're going to focus and look closely at one part of the painting and look for the lines, the shapes, and the colors that are in this painting. We're going to see what kinds of lines we can find what colors we can see. Do you know your shapes? We're gonna look for those too. Here at the museum, we do a, a program that is called Explore the Basics. This is what we do when we go through a painting bit by bit and we talk about what we see. Let's start with our colors. What colors do you see? Let's just talk about yellow. What kinds of yellows do you see in this painting? How would you describe them? Right away, I see bright yellow, mustard yellow, light yellow, kind of an orangey yellow down in the house where the door is. That's four that I can see right away. Can you see those? Once you've gone through your colors, let's start to look for shapes. Do you know your shapes? I can see a triangle. Can you see it? What other shapes can you see? Now, one of my favorite things is lines. There are so many different kinds of lines. Straight lines, squiggly lines, zigzag lines, crazy lines, they're my favorite. Can you find any kind of lines in this painting? Can you describe them? One other thing that I love about Ron Moppet's paintings is all the clues that he gives us with objects. 
Can you see anything you recognize in this painting? What are they? I see a glove up in the corner. Can you see it? What else can you see? Once you've sat and looked at the painting and looked for all of the lines, shapes, colors, and clues, can you start to draw some of these things? Get out your paper and pencils and let's have some fun. What would your crazy lines look like? Do you have anything that you love to draw? I love oceans, beaches, sunshine, and surf. Have fun with it. It's your artwork so you can draw whatever you want. That's what's so fun about art. We can choose to make things look the way we want to. It's all up to you. Maybe your artwork can tell us a story too. Tag us, show us, and let us know.